So today we are going to do on neck and chest squash ah. Okay, so this is a very uh, one of the most sought after one Especially for people who are looking at clearing of the um, Hello <laughs> Are looking at the clearing of double chin Okay, so for neck and chest squash ah, Okay, we are looking at more for the uh, lymphatic drainage okay and also for double chin starting okay so for the neck itself usually I will split if you're doing your own self I will split the neck into a uh, half all right because the lymph nodes itself is more at the chin area and also down at the collarbone area so a lot of people thought like you know to do um, neck gua sha you just need to keep going upwards okay but actually i don't really think so okay uh, i'll just split it into half okay so if you have a gua sha tool which is like mine hello hello yeah so as i said if you have a gua sha tool okay i will say aventurine okay aventurine is um good for neck and chest because it's for heart opening yeah so i usually will use that and it's sold on my shop page as well okay so you can go and take a look and order from there all right if not yeah you can use a china spoon okay a porcelain spoon will be good enough okay to help with the uh, gua sha oh okay and then so as i said i will split the neck into two halves okay to do the gua sha itself so for the upper half which is half of it okay i will do upwards all right so it's going to the lymph node along the jawline all right so you can actually just from the half of the neck okay just go upwards all right so this is one way to do it yeah so just from the center of the neck go upwards itself all right and then i need to switch my music okay so as I said, okay, going from the center of the neck, go upward. So this is especially good for double chin clearance. Okay, so from the center, going upward. Alright. So I'm doing just half of the neck, okay, because I have one brush up to go. Usually we do one half first, then after that you go to the other side. Okay, so you can actually just from the center, go up. Okay, go to where the lymph nodes are along the jawline. Alright, and if you find because neck sometimes is a bit sensitive, it's a bit more um raw than the uh, face. Hello. So you can actually use ointments or you can actually use aloe vera gel to actually go along. Okay, but I'm now using um nothing. Okay, so it may feel a bit uh, friction okay so if it's really uncomfortable then get the ointment okay or get the aloe vera gel to actually uh, lower the friction so as i said split the neck into half okay so upper half just go upwards all right and then lower half you want to actually go downwards all right so that is usually the case okay where because i want to be top okay and lengthen the neck itself okay going towards the lymph nodes at the collarbones so you can the lower half right you can actually go downwards so for that question okay it's more at the front side but actually you can go until the sides of the neck so for the second half okay lower half i actually will go downwards towards the collarbone okay as i said the neck is actually quite vulnerable quite sensitive okay so i would suggest you put ointment all right so this is for the neck okay and then for the chest itself i would say okay there are lymph nodes along the chest bone okay so usually right okay this one you can do in your washroom for all this huh? so you will go inward towards the chest bone so you always go to where the lymph nodes are yeah okay and then from there, because when you go inward towards the chest bone, it actually will help to clear the toxins. Yeah, for chest area, okay, this is especially good for breast issues. So people who tend to have a lot of cysts um, in the breast, okay, you can actually do this to actually help 
Hello, I'm at the chest squash already. So yeah, as I said, okay, gua towards the center of the breast bone. Okay, because that's where all the lymph nodes are and you actually can help with the toxification. Yeah, so you can actually do this. Okay, so revise very fast, okay. Um as I said, the neck and chest they are more sensitive, so you can do it in the shower when you are breathing, okay? The um, shower gel, all this will be your lubricant. If not, you get ointment, you know, any kinds of oil. I would prefer olive oil, yeah. If not, you can use coconut oil. Or you can use aloe vera gel. Split the neck into half. Alright, so the upper half go upwards towards the jawline. Yeah. And then the lower half go downwards towards the collarbone. Yeah. So you can, as I said, you can go to the back, okay, near to the side, yeah. This will actually help with neck pain, yeah, and all um, that issue. Okay, so it's not just about the neck wash, huh? and this will actually lengthen the neck itself, okay, make it more, uh, how to say, like stimulate the skin there so it won't get wrinkled, okay, because a lot of times people take care of their face, but the age actually shows up a lot in the uh, neck region, yeah, so it's good you need to take care of your neck with washa method as well. Huh? So, lower half I will do downwards towards the collarbone, yeah, you can go all the way to the back, and then the chest area, as I said, I will prefer to go inwards towards the breast bone. So, this one you can also do. Mm, you can also do uh, in the shower, okay, because with clothes it's a bit hard. Yeah, so you can actually go towards the breastbone area, right? And because the breastbone area, okay, which is the center bone, there is lymph nodes there. So it will actually help mm, with detoxification. And for guys and ladies, those that easily have breast lumps, uh, Seeds issues, yeah, new cancer, predisposition to cancer. You can actually do this, okay? Good posture is actually a health maintenance method, so it's not just for aesthetics and beauty, okay? You can do it for health benefits, all right? So, if you have your posture too, you can try it out myself. Oh, actually, the chest posture feels very good, especially for people who tend to get angry easily. Wow, you can actually do this to help clear the anger. Hello, hello. I'm coming to the end of my session already, so you can watch the replay. But I'm selling these two on my shop, which is Aventurine, okay, which is good for heart opening and especially um, will help with chest detoxification. Yeah, so chest wash. So you really, when you take care of your neck, you should also take care of your chest because they're all linked. Yeah, and aging occurs because there are toxins accumulating and wrinkles. Yeah, that form in the neck. So when you actually activate the circulation at the chest region, it actually will help with the neck circulation as well. All right, so. I guess that will be it for this week and I don't think you have any questions if you are looking. <sighs> oh yeah, anyway, this, this video will be on um, my Instagram, alright? So you can leave any comments or if you want to buy the tool, please feel free to visit my shop page on my website. Okay, I'm coming to the end of my session already. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you can watch the replay and if you want to get a tool, you can go to my website, okay, under the shop page, okay. Aventurine is highly recommended for neck and chest washa itself. So if you have any questions, you can leave in the comments or you can ask me right now. And then we'll prolong the session a little bit more. Before you can watch the replay, alright. Yep. Okay, if there are nothing, then I will end today's session. No questions? Those that are looking? Okay, so we'll end here for today, and then the next one will be another uh, facial part. Um, I'll just release it next week. Okay, I'm just trying to spread out all the videos now. Okay, so we have done our forehead, eyes, I think nose, cheekbones, lips. Now it's neck and chest. Okay, what's next? Okay, just watch out on my Instagram and all my social medias. 
Okay, and feel free to book for an appointment, okay, with us.